Welcome back to Fox 8. It was back on Easter Sunday. I'm sure you all recall 2017 Easter Sunday when Robert Godwin Sr. was walking home from his children's Easter Sunday mass and, and dinner at their house. He was killed on the streets of Cleveland and that murder was actually posted online for the world to see and witness. And now his daughter has written a book on how she's been coping with this senseless and horrific killing. Please welcome my friend Tanya Godwin Baines, who's joining us now this morning with more on her incredible journey. And she has all written it now in a beautiful book that you can get all over the world from grief to grace. Tanya, it is so good to see you. You too, Stephanie. Good morning. Thank I'm you so, so glad much. to be here. Oh, well, so we're glad to be here. We're happy and we're thrilled for you. Uh, we know, though, it has not been a happy couple of years, uh, two and a half years. Tell us uh, about that day on Resurrection Day. Your father, uh, such a sweet, sweet man, was just innocently walking home. Yeah, he was actually collecting cans and waiting on my sisters to finish dinner. It was my husband's birthday this particular year. We had just left church services. And then some friends of ours called us and told us, my niece called screaming and saying my father had been killed. And I just couldn't connect the dots, but mm -hmm. it was really him. And I picked up my phone and I looked on Facebook when they told me that it was on there and I literally lost it. Um, I could not believe that it was actually happening. It was like a dream and you, it still is. And you saw it, you saw it happen on Facebook? Yes, I had to. I, I went back and I looked at it because it was so unbelievable mm -hmm. till I just had to watch it because nothing no one said to me would have made me believe that someone would have killed my mm -hmm. sweet father like mm -hmm. that. I just I couldn't connect the dots. That's and when I saw it, I tried to jump out of the car on 480 because I was really devastated. I'm sure. And I know yeah. anyone who who saw that. Um, I had never met your father, but you could just see in his eyes, he was just such a sweet and, and you know, he, he wanted to help him uh, when he was stopped by the car, like, how can I help you? He was just a, such a sweet and loving man. Tell us a little bit about your dad. Well, my dad was a very, very kind man, never like really yelled, had a very sweet spoken voice, um, didn't like a lot of noise, because there's a lot of us, so we make a lot of noise. <laughs> Ten Didn't in your family, right? You have nine siblings? Yes, <laughs> oh, yes. my gosh, that's awesome. And, yes. <laughs> and he just didn't re really require a lot. He just was always really thankful for whatever you did, like his birthdays. He never made a big deal about anything. Mm -hmm. You got him a card or a T-shirt. He was as happy as you bought him a new car. He was just a very simplistic man and very kind. How sweet. Your book, as I mentioned, is just, um, it's, it's really amazing for so many people who go through really grief of any kind because um, it spoke to me too. It's, it's the stages of grief and it's, you have a great day yes. one day and then maybe not so great the next. And uh, talk about how you came to be, I guess, emotionally and mentally to put this down in a book and write this kind of as a, as a guide for other people who are grieving. Well, actually, my friend, I call her the first responder, Pastor Cody Pride. She came to my home and she prayed for me. Mm -hmm. And she said, Lord, take her from grief to grace. Mm -hmm. And God spoke to me and said, this is the name of your book. This is what you're going to write. I said, a book? I'm a registered nurse. I'm not an author. <laughs> I don't know about writing right. a book. And then my sister, the picture here, was at the cemetery and it was too painful for me to go. And it came out in black and white. We were FaceTiming. And then I took this picture. And God said, well, this is your book book cover. And I just started to, at night, just jot down things. And there were nights and times that I couldn't pick it up for weeks mm. because it was so painful mm -hmm. to write. You know, Godwin, I, I know that when we were all reporting this horrific story, that kept coming mm -hmm. out to me, is your last name. Um, and, yes. and I think in, in a way it comforted people, but it had a big message, didn't it? Yes, it did. God win. Um, it's very few of us in the world, actually. Uh, that's my mother, my grandmother's. Well, I'm just lost. I just lost my grandmother. My father's mother just passed about I'm a week so or two sorry. ago. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But it's okay. And God win is just, I can't lose. So mm. I had to, like, find a way to, because I was just in a constant state of grief, and you have to grieve and you have to distract. So I just started to put my 
things down in paper, and I'm sure you've read the book. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty heavy, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like when I finished it and I completed it, I released my dad to the world. Mm. And what better time than now when people are dying at a record rate that we could release something like this help people, give them some tools, some tools you don't want to use. And I kind of wanted to guide people into, you know, not doing this. Thinking about um, a little seven-year-old in Hudson, Ohio on November 10th. And I like to put a name behind it, Vincent Barron, mm -hmm. Baran, I don't know how you say their name, but I was able to get their address and send them a book. I don't know if they received it. I hope they're watching, but I just wanted to give them a book because just imagine losing a seven-year-old yeah to a bike and grief is greater than just death it's right. a marriage of sickness mm -hmm. it's a lot of things well your message and that shows you too um, how universal it is and how powerful it is as well and says so much about you tanya to uh, look at yes. other people who are going through that locally here and sending that to that couple in hudson and yes. that's why you're such a special and amazing woman i'm so proud Thank of you, you that you have done this and that you're really helping other people your book is available on amazon and, and you said retailers all over the country how many yeah nationwide it's 40,000 retailers That's awesome and it's on uh, Barnes and Noble with Taylor publishing my publishing company that published it it's 40,000 retailers from Greek to great get it you won't be sorry it's a page turner mm -hmm. so I'm really I'm really happy and I know my dad is really proud of me Tanya Godwin Baines thank you so much we appreciate Godwin it Baines. thank and you so God much. bless you sending you big God hugs I wish you. I could squeeze you in person <laughs> yeah, me too. But one day soon. Hug. Yeah, one day yes. soon. Take care and yes. good luck on your journey. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she's Thank a nurse so too. So love you, Tanya. Thank you.